guys, welcome back. We got some more modern interviews. Today joining me is Azareth. Azareth, how you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Felt good. Excellent. All right. Well, some questions for you. Sure. It's modern age. What are you playing? Uh, I'm playing unthemed apocalypse collector. Um, just unthemed good stuff, getting the damage buff from, apo uh, from collector. Apocalypse pop get pop pogs get buffed with a splash of X swap. Excellent, man. Is uh, Commissioner still making that build? Yep, sure is. Rookie is really good with collector buff. Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely love it. Well, what's a matchup that you do not want to come across today? Thanos. Thanos or Triple Apocalypse, just because it's probably going to be a 0 0 loss or a 30 to 0 loss uh, against Thanos. Um, and that's just going to be a really boring day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, playing for roll offs, we've heard it a little bit. It's going to happen today. That Triple APOC is inevitable, which is interesting. That's something Thanos would say. Yeah. All right, Az, another question for you yeah. is, what's a figure that isn't really being talked about that you expect to see today? Uh, Legacy Magneto. Okay. Not really talked about. It's yeah. going to be seen because it's on my sideline. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, what, he has the plus two attack and damage against oh, armor and robots. robot. And he gets to make a free attack against characters with those keywords. Ooh, yeah, absolutely devastating. Apocalypse, Sakari, and Iron Man both have those keywords. So That could be pretty nasty, you know. You can have Mastermind, but you get enough of those free attacks yeah. off. Good spell. Yep. An untimely KO for those. Well, Azareth, last question for you, and then we'll get you on your way here. What's a tarot card that you do not want to see flipped against you? The uh, Six of Pentacles, the Mind Control card or the In Cap card. Either one is just really difficult to deal with. Mm. And why is that? So just free da like damage that isn't from an attack, uh, just deals with Mastermind really well and deals with stop clicks. Uh, oh, so okay. it's just really hard to deal with. And with Thanos specifically in the mind control card where he can just do it from so far away through everything, it's really hard to protect against. Absolutely, man. Well, thank you for your time. I'm going to give you a left hand shake. I know it's a bit awkward, yeah, but no hey, it is what it is. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more guys. It's more modern coverage for the day. We are getting close to starting off here. And today I am joined by the kid wonder, the boy himself, the world champion, national champion, champion of it all, Isaac. Isaac, how are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Stoked for the first world's back. Heck yeah, man. All right. Well, Isaac, everyone is on the edge of their seat wondering, what are you playing today? I was considering playing Apocalypse, but I decided against it. I'm running a plus seven X-Men theme with the uh, Professor X swap outs and Deadpool and Kate Pride. Right. Very interesting, man. Is there like a typical build that you end on for that? Is there an average one or is it very matchup specific? I'd say like 90% of the time I'm going with Jubilee, Double Maggot, Venom Magneto, Venom Wolverine, Multiple Man, and um, Hope Summers. Just a, It's a very solid alpha. Yeah. Absolutely. We haven't heard much about Maggot today, so yeah, very good play. But honestly, people still talk about him. He's a great figure. But with your team, Isaac, what is a matchup that is particularly scary or you know not favorable for you? I'd say my worst matchup is probably the Apocalypse Doom team. I know there's a lot of Apocalypse Annihilations running around, but Doom is kind of swept under the radar. Sure. Like, there's a couple of him, but I think he's honestly the better choice against most teams, and I'm pretty frightened for that matchup. Any particular reason on that? The limiting actions Doom just really screws with my team. I need all four actions to get my team up there and fighting. The autonomous on the Maggot Pogs are just oh, completely yeah. negated with the Doom. Yeah, man, that could be it's tough. It's a rough match. Absolutely. Well, Isaac, with uh, just everything being as open, as open as it is, is there any figure out there that nobody's really talking about that you know you might expect to see today? I was talking with some friends before uh, waiting in lines to get Connellys, and I heard a lot of talk about the common Lokis, the ones oh. you play a bunch of and get a whole lot of actions from. Yeah. I didn't expect to see any, and I hear there's like eight or nine running around. They got plans for Apocalypse, plans for Thanos. I think they can go far. Yeah, dude. Not many people are expecting them. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we saw them get, what was it, second in uh, the national event at Gen Con this year? Yeah, no one was expecting that either, and they got oh. second, beating Thanos's, beating Scarlet Witches. Like, it's a very formidable team. And with the upgrades it got from X of Swords, like, it's really yeah. strong. And uh, if you guys are wondering, the person that they got second to, he's right here. <laughs> Anyway, Isaac, last question, then we'll get you going on your way here. What's a tarot card that you just do not want to see flipped against you today? Definitely the Six of Swords. I think that's it. The Incapacitate one. I know lots of people playing Mad Jim. The yeah. swap in the lasso hit me for free four damage. Give me a token. Oh, man. I do not want to see that on the other side of the board. Man, that sounds absolutely brutal. But, hey, man, Isaac, thanks for the time. Good luck out there today. 
And uh, I'm sure we'll be checking back in with you. I am joined by Mike. Mike, how are we doing today? Great. Hey, we're going to play Heroclix, so that's pretty awesome. Hey. Always good news when we get to play some Heroclix, right? All right, awesome, man. So, with Modern going on, what are we playing? Uh, I'm doing an Avenger swap. Oh, okay. Uh, it's really a long, complicated thing just to get uh, a Molecule Man on an Avengers team. Yeah. Uh, and to get my Saki starting on top of the cloak. Oh, so interesting. Okay. Really, the end team is uh, Molecule Man, Saki, uh, the Scarlet Witch Chase, Scarlet Witch Common from War of the Realms, Wanda Maximoff uh, from DZ. Yeah, the uh, 19 Defense. Yep. Oh, uh, awesome. 25 point Daredevil. Yeah, there and, we go. Right? We love Daredevil. And uh, Hope Summers. Awesome, man. Some good pick-up power stuff in there. Yeah. Her and Saki, that can lead to some deadly combinations, I'm sure. That's the hope. Uh, That's you the know, hope. surprise That's them with the the double attackers. Hope. <laughs> anyway, Mike, what's a matchup that you're not particularly looking forward to today? What's something scary for your team? Apocalypse is not good for me. Um, I'm lucky that uh, I got to practice with uh, great player Devin Owens yeah. and uh, we did a bit of back and forth of taking steps back and seeing what possibilities with Apocalypse. But I know I need a bit of luck on my yeah. side to make that happen. So Absolutely. It is what it is. Hope for the best, <laughs> expect the worst. Yeah, that's not a bad way of looking at it. And guys, seriously, this Apocalypse is going to be deadly. I'm very surprised we haven't run into one yet. But Mike, how about this? What's a figure that's not really being talked about that you might expect to see today? It's a tough question because it seems like there's so much out there right now yeah. and there's so much meta that's going on. Uh, I'm, I, I don't really have an answer for it, right? <laughs> I mean, it's I've seen so much stuff. I, I'm prepared for Apoc Apocalypse and Thanos and tons of Sackies out there, yeah. tons of hopes. I, I'm... I'm more excited to have someone show up with something that we're not prepared for. Like, hey, good for we're... them. I'm rooting for them ahead yeah. of me. It's a tall order. I mean, it really is an open meta, guys. You've seen the teams we've talked about here. And, yeah, I mean, obviously Apocalypse, Thanos, they're the big threats. But some people have some plans for taking it down. All right, Mike, last question for you here. What's a tarot card that you just do not want to see flipped against you? I can't remember the name of it again, but of course I know the effect. It's yeah. the plus one to D6 rolls. Oh, yeah. I believe that is... Uh, no, I'm not even going to guess. Right? I can't remember <laughs> which one it is either. I should because I it's had it on my team. It's a very common one, yeah. That's it. But honestly, with... Uh, Giving Apocalypse a boost to shape change roles. Giving Apocalypse a boost to super sense roles. Helping Bystander generation. That's it. All Helping that. Thanos out with the gems. Uh -huh. He yeah. doesn't need any help with the no. gems. No, uh, he doesn't. My big practice partner is uh, Emily Rowett, the uh, Canadian national champion, Absolutely. She's Queen fantastic. of the North. Uh, and she has smacked me around with that Thanos so many times <laughs> that I have learned everything I don't want to have happen against her. Oh, so. man. That is just brutal. So, yeah, you guys are going to see these Thanos as an apocalypse. Mike, thank you so much for your time. You know him. You'll love him. He's a great player, and I've got some questions for him. So, PJ, what are you playing today and why? Uh, so, today I'm playing uh, Legacy Apocalypse, like everybody else, um, Chase Annihilation, uh, Mad Jim Jaspers, that I'm now a picture of, uh, Venom <laughs> Magneto, and Scarab. Um, Ooh, I love it. Between the swords as my sideline and the cloak of levitation on the main force, I have 19 objects that I have to carry around. Man, um, that's... Wow. <laughs> I'm actually mainly playing it because the team is really fun to play on the map. Like, I was playing, like, some non-theme good stuff, and I was just hating every game I played with it, so I switched. Did that have something to do with kind of, like, going second or just bad matchups in particular just wasn't working no like it was working fine and the, i was winning the games i just wasn't like i don't know something about it just wasn't fun for me oh, but like true. moving around a bunch of pogs and doing stuff with scarab i'm having a great time with yeah it. scarab's great for the map control yeah. so the next question is what's a matchup that you're not particularly looking forward to today what's uh what's a bad matchup for your team uh the the triple apocalypse matchup i think is just bad for everyone yeah. um I basically the only way I can can win is if they play wrong. Mm. Like I have to rely on them over committing an apocalypse into some trap that I don't even know if I have. <laughs> so, oh man, I, I I don't think anybody wants to find themselves sitting across from that triple apocalypse. Now, here's an interesting question for you. What is a figure that maybe no one's really talking about that you expect to see today? Um, I'm expecting to see several people playing Merlin, even though he's kind of, people keep saying, oh, he's trash. I think a lot of people are going to try it today and find out whether or not he's actually trash. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, I have heard the argument that he might be a bit overcosted, but I am also on the same page that I think we could see him a bit today. Yeah. 
All right, PJ, well, last question for you. What is a tarot card that you absolutely do not want to see flip today? Um, so I think everyone's going to say the fool. So I'm going to go with strength. Okay. Because and for uh, the viewers, could you just let us know what that? Yeah, does? so strength is the one where doubles are crit hits. Oh, okay. So I just know that I won't roll doubles, and my <laughs> opponent will exclusively roll doubles, and oh that kills Apocalypse. Uh, the crits will get through the mastermind and can kill Apoc. <sighs> yeah, man. So that's that's the one. <laughs> I believe it. All right, PJ. Well, we really appreciate the time. Good luck out there, man. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more, guys.